Hello and welcome to Old Nintendo Gamer and Son. We're here bringing you the biggest and best Nintendo news on September the 3rd, 2020. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. Hamster is adding yet another Arcade Archives title to the Switch this week. This time it's Contra and it's going to be selling for £6.29, usual price, on September the 3rd. This version will include the Japanese and the overseas version in one package. Scarlet Republic's a turn-based tactical RPG has surpassed its Kickstarter funding goal of €10,000 in just 10 hours, and the Switch will receive a version, unfortunately we have a long wait until its 2022 launch. Spiritfarer has received a version 1.2 update to its Switch code. It addresses a load of bug fixes, but also includes additional language support. In similar news, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 has received another update to version 2.10, with the only notable update being that Korean text has been added to the game. Rocket League developers Psyonix are rolling out an update on current platforms in the next few weeks around mid-September. The previously announced major update, which turns it into a free-to-play title, will launch shortly after. They have officially confirmed that when that happens, you will no longer need a Nintendo Switch Online membership to get online and play. Yoshi Crafted World developer Goodfield made the twin-stick shooter Monkey Barrels and released it on the Switch eShop as a digital-only purchase, while retailer listings have shown that it will launch on December the 10th as a physical version. This at present is only for Japan. Lots of Shantae news, and firstly, the original Shantae on Game Boy Color has been outed fully via Limited Run Games. There'll be a standard release, but also a physical collector's edition, which will include a premium rigid box and contain a soundtrack and an enamel pin and lots more. Pre-orders for Shantae on Game Boy Color open on September the 11th at the Limited Run Games website store. Next up is Shantae, the original Game Boy Color title coming to the Switch. This will also receive a standard physical launch and a collector's edition containing a steelbook case, soundtrack CD, acrylic standee and more. Once again, September 11th for pre-orders at the Limited Run Games website. The last Shantae game being touted for a Limited Run Games pre-order on September the 11th, that's right, the same day, is Shantae Risky's Revenge. This is coming to the Switch, and the Collector's Edition contains a commemorative metal coin, CD soundtrack, steelbook and more. Nexamon Extinction, another monster-catching RPG, has received its first update on Switch. It's adjusted dynamic difficulty, a hidden harmony stat, revamped skill learning algorithms, and tweaked the cosmic apparition rate formula, and lots more. And lastly today, Puma have teamed up with Nintendo to make the new Super Mario sneakers. This was posted on the official Puma product page in Australia, and has since been removed. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links below.